Hi! In this video, I will show you cool tips for you to export your videos in the highest possible quality. Let's do it! First, if your session has only one video, you just click on export to open this window. But if your video has several videos like this one, I've got three videos here, you have to select an in point and one out point. Let's say I want to export this second clip here. So I will go to the beginning of the clip, up arrow, and I will press I for the in point, and I will go to the end of this clip and I'll press O. Now, when I click on export, it will export only this area here, the second video. You can also right click here in timeline, click on range and select the in point and out point without shortcut. And if you've got a clip that has the exact duration of your video, like this robust clip here, you can right click on it, range, select area by clip. So the area that will be rendered has exactly the size of this robust clip. After that, make sure that the aspect ratio is good for you. Just click here on ratio, okay? I will use the original ratio, but you can choose like a square Instagram ratio. So now it's square, all right? But you can customize it, clicking on customize it, I will back to original and we are ready to export the video. So click on export and let's dissect this window. Title is self-explanatory. You put your title here. Let's say cool frames. Here in export tool, you click to select a folder that your video will be exported to. Of course, you will click here in video exporting because you want to export your video. Resolution. I like 1080p. Okay, we have several resolutions over here, but it depends on where your public is going to see your video. A large TV, a cell phone, a gigantic cinema, it's up to you. I use 1080p, but I shot this video in 1080p. So that's the maximum amount that will not produce enlargement artifacts. For example, I shot it in 1080p, but if I put 4K, it will resize my video for 4K and will produce some artifacts while doing this. So if I want to use 4K, I gotta be aware that the video definition, the quality of my image will not be as perfect as if I use it 1080p, the resolution that I shot at the video. So for now, I'll go with 1080p. Bitrate, if you're not an expert, I recommend you to use the recommended <laughs> function. But you can use a lower bitrate for smaller file sizes, a higher one, or customize it. You can put here the KBPS that you want to use. You can choose static bitrate, variable bitrate. I will not mess with this right now. I will go with recommended. Codec. The standard codec is H.264, but you can use these other ones. The second one has efficient compression, saving space. The third one, efficient compression and compatibility, saving space. I'm gonna use H.264, the standard codec. Format, MP4, it's the most used, most common, the famous one, but you can use MOV as well. MOV files has more quality, but are larger. So you can test, this video is rendered in MP4. Frame rate, you can match the frame rate with the frame rate that you shoot the video. Okay, you have some options here. Or you can just select a frame rate, but it will work just like the resolution. You cannot have super slow motion effect just by selecting 60 frames per second if you do not shoot it in 60 frames per second. So if you are a beginner, I recommend you to select the one that you shoot the video. If you made a cover, it will appear here, the options of export the cover in a separate file or do not export cover. But that's a topic for another video. Here on export audio you can export an additional file containing just the audio if you want to edit the audio in other software just click on export audio like i did and select a format wave has more quality but has a larger file mp3 and aac are more economic files but both generates good quality audio in this case i do not want to export 
audio in a separate file. If you have the Pro version, you can also export your captions in a separate file. If you do not have, the captions will be exported, but in the same file of your video. Also, let me cancel here. If you don't have the Pro version, but selected a Pro function like a transition or whatever, let me show you what I'm talking about. I will select a Pro filter like this Love City. That's a Pro. Okay, it's kind of bluish, nice transition. That's a pro version and I do not have the pro version. So when I click on export, look what will happen. A message that says you are using the following pro feature material, Love City. So I have two options, Join Pro, like buying CapCut or back to edit, but I cannot render right now. So if I want to render without the pro version, I've got to remove this Love City filter. So when I click on export, now I can export. And after this, just click on export and wait until your video is done. And that's it. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel to get new content every week. See ya!